Hello, hello everybody. This is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. In today's video, I'm going to do a mystery jewelry unboxing. And this one is from the Goodwill Blue Box. It's been a while since I opened one of these five pound boxes. This particular box is from South Hackensack, New Jersey. And you can see right there in the corner that I have had this box since April of 2021. Let's get right into it and open up the box. This one is bagged. Sometimes they're loose in the box. Let's just take a really quick look at the outside of the bag. And I've got my little box here. I'm going to empty everything in. As I'm pulling out the first piece from the box, just want to remind you guys that if you're interested in purchasing anything from the video, here is my email here on the screen, kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. Drop me an email. And you'll also find my email down below the video in the description box. This is an interesting piece. This has gold tone tubes for the collar. It's a collar length necklace and a green, green, a black <laughs> plastic stone and black plastic beads here to finish it. This has a hook closure. It does not have a name on it. You often see those hook closures on vintage necklaces, but this one's definitely not vintage. This is modern. So it is a cute collar style or choker style necklace. And let's keep going and see what else we have. All of these items right here, they are going in a craft lot. Now this is the culprit, really uh, the troublemaker right here. It's a broken seed bead necklace and the seed beads are especially tiny on this all over my carpet already kind of scattering on the table so i am going to put all these in the craft this is just a plastic beaded these are plastic this is a broken wooden bangle here and you can see what we have going on to the next piece as soon as i clean up this troublemaker right here not all seed bead necklaces are bad <laughs> this is actually a very pretty one this one's a multi-strand seed bead necklace with copper seed beads. And then the center has really cute beads, silver tone beads, antique tone. There are some square rectangular silver tone beads as well as these circle beads, these little discs. And this kind of has a boho hippie vibe to it. We've got a lobster class and about a two inch extender on this one. And this is very cute. There is no maker's mark on it, but I like it. I'm pulling this necklace back out because I just found the matching earrings. So there are plastic. The metal part, the gold part is metal, I should say. This is a cute little set. Ooh, look at this piece. I really like it. This is a silver tone cuff bracelet. It's got this gorgeous seed bead panel that has been attached to this cuff. If you look really close, you can kind of see right there and a little bit right here. Uh, it looks like a yellow, yellowish color where I think that's where the glue has dried and it dried that color. I don't think that would bother me though to wear this. Here's what it looks like on and yes, I definitely love this cuff. This is so cool. Here's another seed bead necklace. I think this one is pretty cool. This is definitely an artisan piece. It is made with the seed beads and like it has like an AB sort of finish where they're green and bluish purple depending on how the light hits them. And it's mixed in with shell chips and also with these green disc beads that I think could be clay. This rectangular pendant is pretty awesome. This has that texture waviness to it. It is resin and isn't that cool this is very neat now it's for as big as it is it's not real heavy i mean it's definitely substantial but not too too heavy this one i think will definitely go in my sell pile and i, I did forget to mention if you're new to the channel i am a full-time seller on ebay so as i open these boxes i'm always hoping to find pieces that i can sell in my ebay store this will be one of them this is a super fun vintage necklace bright red and it's got these cool little cylinder beads with that diamond uh, design pattern on them and check this out it has matching earrings 
Here is a closer look at those earrings. So, so cool. They're ovals with that diamond pattern, or you could even say it's chevron. Uh, they are pierced. That's what the back of the earring looks like right there. And of course, we have to take a closer look at this necklace. Look at the beads on this. I love the brightness of this red. It's like a fire engine red. And here is the closure. This is one of those twist closures. So it's actually hidden when it's closed all the way. Isn't that cool? It's a great little vintage set right there. And that's going in the cell pile. Here are two of the same bracelet in two different colors. As you can see, we have the black and ivory and then the green and ivory. Both are embellished with these pearls and they have a lobster clasp and they both have a name. Let's take a look. These are Ann Taylor. I'm surprised to learn that these are Ann Taylor. I haven't ever seen anything quite so boho and beachy from Ann Taylor, but I must say I really do like these. Look at this lovely piece. This is a branch with three leaves. It's brushed silver tone and there is a pearl on this. This is so pretty. It's in great shape. I am going to look at this mark here. Let's take a look at that and see who makes this. This is signed CR Co. 12 karat gold filled. Oh, how cool is that? CR Co. is Charles Reese or Rise. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's definitely a signed piece from a designer. It's very lovely. It's in pristine condition. It's hard to believe it's vintage, but it's definitely vintage. Here are more items I pulled out for the craft lot. I'm not going to be selling these. This is a set of real pearls. They are graduated in size, but they are broken. Again, more broken beads, but actually very, very pretty. Here's a crafty pin. It's made with felt and it's definitely artisan made. Somebody was trying out something here. A gold tone, silver tone floral brooch with red crystals. No marks on it. It's very lightweight. A leather necklace. It's kind of beat up. Another necklace. It has some fun beads in it. They feel almost, these beads at least, feel kind of, uh, they've got a funny texture, like a rubbery texture, but I don't know it, what kind of material that is. So someone might be able to disassemble this and use the beads for something. And then the last two pieces are these Asian beads and this single earring here. Let's make sense of all these beaded necklaces I just pulled out of the box. This is a set of plastic beads in white and purple. There is no clasp. They're very plastic, including the seam you probably can see there on the beads. So they're going in the craft lot and let's go to the next one. Here's a vintage plastic necklace with graduated beads. So the larger ones are here in the center. It's just a vintage necklace, plastic beads. I don't think it's anything special. There's definitely no name on it. There's the clasp, the spring clasp right there. And that's gonna go in the craft lot. Let's see, get this focused a little bit. There we go. Take a look at what's going in the craft lot. The next necklace is also vintage and also with white plastic beads. This one has a hidden clasp. I'll show you, you, open, you press right there and there you go. So there's the clasp and again, no name. And these are pretty dirty. They could use a cleaning, but this is another piece that's gonna go in the craft lot. More plastic beads. These are fun. These have an animal print on them. So, um, and then of course you can see that there's a gold bead in between each one. This has a lobster clasp, no name. Very fun, also going in the craft lot. This is also a very lightweight necklace. Faux pearls, very lightweight gold beads. These plastic faceted black beads. And this one is finished with one of those twisty screw cylinders. I don't know what you call that. So cute, but it's going in the craft lot. This necklace is also made with plastic beads. I find these so much fun. These are like a frosted clear bead and interspersed with these black round polished beads. Collar length or choker length necklace and it has another one of those screw on, screw off clasps. So out of all of them, I think this is one that I will try to sell. Coming out next is this gorgeous butterfly brooch. 
This is made with, it looks like glass stone there. I'm not quite sure if it's a glass or if it's actually a stone. I'll look into that. And then it's mixed with these teal and blue faceted rhinestones. I just love this piece. Gold tone twisted frame on that. Even his little antenna have rhinestones. How cute. Looking on the back, it is marked. This is stamped with Alice Cavanus. That is a new name to me, but I suspect this might have some value. I can't wait to find out if this is glass or stone. I'm going to look into this piece right here. Definitely going to list this in my eBay store. Coming out next is this pineapple. It's a, a pin and pendant. There is a stamp right in there. I have never come across this name before. Garnet. Well, I know pineapples are really in right now, but I suspect this is a vintage piece right here. So I will look into it. I'm definitely going to sell this. I think this is a sweet find in this box. Wow, look at this necklace. This is a beautiful crystal rhinestone necklace. Love the color combination on this one with a very deep red and a goldish green, a very smoky light blue. I love it. This is all set in gold tone. Look at these beautiful rhinestones in this. I really like this piece. The closure is a lobster class. Of course, there's this extender and I am seeing a tag. The tag reads Graziano. And this is what the other side of that tag looks like. This necklace is quite lovely and I am putting this in the cell pile. Here we are looking at a beautiful pair of vintage earrings in a pale yellow. They are in incredible condition. They hardly look like they've ever been worn. And I am seeing right there, these are stamped with West Germany. So they're definitely vintage. It's very interesting construction. There are these little discs, almost like Rivoli's, but they're pointy on each end on the outside. And then the rest of the earring is made with round faceted beads. It's got the Aurora Borealis going on. Let me get that back into focus there. Aren't these beautiful? Aren't these just beautiful? I can't get over what great shape they're in. These are gorgeous vintage earrings from West Germany. Coming out next is this super cool necklace. I'm loving this pendant on here. This looks like an artisan piece. There's a tag hanging off. We'll have to take a closer look at that in a minute. So we've got this pendant here with this very colorful enamel design there. I see a house there and the rest, I'm not sure what it is. Is it abstract? Are you seeing something that I'm not seeing? Um, very cool. It's got a textured frame and like a, a gold tone. I am just now noticing now that Chico's tag. So, wow, that is impressive. I really thought that this was an artisan necklace. This is super cool. But going on about the pendant, there's this little metal panel that's attached to the top part. It's black and it's got some texture to it, kind of wavy. Let's take a look at the rest of the necklace. Let me get this back into focus. So we've got these chunky black seed beads and some glass beads. These are art beads there. And very interesting combination. I like the colors. It's very bohemian looking as far as the design of the necklace. And we've got the lobster clasp and little glass charm at the end. This does have uh, a multitude of options where you can definitely wear it shorter or longer with this extender. What do you guys think of this Goodwill Blue Box so far? I think it's really interesting. It's quite eclectic, a nice mix of vintage and modern, uh, a, a nice mix also of different types of pieces like brooches, earrings, necklaces, and bracelets. I'm quite pleased. A quick intermission. I have a question for you. Would you be interested in my doing a jewelry sale at some point in the near future? Comment down below to let me know. I've been toying around with the idea so you can comment yes, sale, or no sale. I'd certainly appreciate it and while you're at it, it will help my channel a lot and help other people find my channel if you could give this video a thumbs up. Let's get back to the unboxing. Here is another beaded necklace. These are also plastic beads. They are bicone shape and they have a crackle finish. All sorts of colors in this one. 
Um, this isn't actually broken. Somebody did add a pin there. I think maybe they thought there should be a jump ring there and you could certainly add a jump ring. But this particular necklace, uh, I'm just gonna put this one in the craft lot. Here is another necklace. This has just got an assortment of different types of beads and I think most of these are agate. Correct me if I'm wrong. These beads here are probably carnelian. Definitely cold to the touch. Definitely a stone. Um, this one you can see is strung on some sort of, it looks like a silk knot with metallic thread running through it. Interesting, very interesting. This one slips right over the head, so there's not a closure on this one. I do believe this is an artisan piece, and I love in all the earth tones that they use in this design. This is a gorgeous necklace. I believe these are glass pearls in a silvery gray color, very polished, and this is mixed with these cool crystal links here. Notice that the links, like this one's oval, that one's round, so there are different shapes. And then it's got an asymmetric element to it where there's an extra crystal here where you don't see it on this side. I'm just loving this necklace. These beads are so lovely. And these glass pearls, they're so smooth. They're, they're like butter. <laughs> they really are. And I love the combination with these yellow crystals. So there we are going up the necklace. It does have an extender and there is a tag. Why am I not surprised? It's a Kate Spade New York. And there we have the little Kate Spade charm with it. This is quite an impressive piece. I'm super happy with it. And yes, of course, I'm going to be selling this one. Coming out next, we have two pair of clip-on earrings. Actually, they're screw backs. I'm pretty sure these are artisan made. They have some really beautiful glass, probably art glass. Here's a look at the back of the earrings where you can see that these little glass pieces were glued onto these earring blanks. And these glass stones are pretty. I like the design in them. Here are more brooches. These are all crystal rhinestone brooches. And these two are very similar, of course. You can see the way they're styled. This one has a few of the rhinestones missing from it. This one, let's see. This one seems to have all of the rhinestones in it. And there are a couple of stones in this one that are missing. There's one missing here and a couple more missing over here. None of these brooches are marked in any way. I have quite a full box of rhinestone pieces for a rhinestone craft lot and for sure that's where these two are going to go. This one I'm not sure yet since it has all of its stones. Here is a glass pendant necklace and the colors in this remind me of a peacock. It's got the teals and the greens and of course it's got that metallic gold swirling in there with black and more of silver too. And it's strung on a teal colored ribbon and also some cord. This does not have a name on it, but I love the color combination and I'm going to put that aside and figure out whether to sell it or maybe to add this glass pendant to a set of glass pendants that I'm going to be selling in a lot. This is a gorgeous vintage necklace. It does have that hook clasp right there and an extender and I am not seeing a name on it yet. This is made with a crystal connector here. I am seeing that there is one missing crystal right there. The other ones seem to be there. These pearls are absolutely beautiful. They are real. And look at the combination of this pearl with the faceted AB crystal. Just beautiful. And there is the extender. I really love this necklace a lot. Um, I'm going to check with the magnet just to see what happens with this hook here. And that is not attracted. It doesn't mean that it is for sure sterling silver, but let's see what happens over here. Now this does have a draw, so I'll put it to the test. I don't think we're looking at sterling silver here, but this is absolutely a stunning vintage pearl and crystal necklace. Coming out next is a silver tone cuff bracelet. It's made with a double wire design and there are these little studs or little silver uh, dots on this. Really cool. It might need to be cleaned up because I'm seeing some very light tarnish probably come right out with a polishing cloth. I'm turning it over and looking to see if I see any marks on this one. I'm not seeing any marks. I am going to test this with a magnet to see if it's magnetic or not. 
This is not magnetic. Again, it doesn't mean that it is sterling silver, but with this one, I'll let you know right here on the screen what I found out because I'm testing it after the video. Here's a look at the bracelet on. There's something about this bracelet I really like. Here's a vintage bracelet. This is a little girl's bracelet. It's very small and it is made with these little links of purple and clear crystals. And by the way, if you know the name of this type of link, could you please let me know in the comment section? I know that there is a name for them and I can't recall right now what this is called. In any case, it's a very sweet little bracelet. It's got this interesting lobster clasp. I think they're typically vintage, although I think some modern pieces are made with this also. No maker's mark on this one. But it's very cute for a little girl. This is a fun bracelet. This is made with black and pearl and these clear crystals. Look at that center bead there. Let's make sure that all of the crystals are in that. They are little crystal rondelles there too, serpentine chain and the lobster clasp looks like so. No name on this one, but it's a fun little bracelet. I like it. This has got to be the most fun piece so far in this box. Look at this. This is a fish pendant. Look how he articulates. I am loving this little pendant necklace here. Um, we have like a gold tone, brass tone. There's a little crystal glass eye there. Oh, he is so cute. And these are little scales that move and dangle. Here's what the back of this little guy looks like. And the fish is hanging from a double chain. There's a two-tone chain, the brass tone and the gold tone right there. It's pretty long. It's a super long chain, actually. There's the lobster clasp, and I am seeing a tag there. It's upside down, but it says Aldo. This is one of the cutest and fun pieces I have seen in a while. I am tempted to keep him at least for a little while and wear him before selling. <laughs> I just love this little guy. Here is another pair of clip-on vintage earrings. These are awesome. Look at these colors. Uh, we have different shades of green and then a pale yellow crystal there. They are set in gold tone. And I think that setting is called a sawtooth, if I'm not mistaken. And correct me if I'm wrong. But look at those. They are super cool. I'm going to turn them over. And so far, I do not see a maker's mark. Let's open up the clip and see if we can see anything. There's the back of the earring. I am not seeing a maker's mark on these. These are so pretty and in excellent condition. Here we have a gold tone leaf brooch. It's got some texture in it. Love the little curl at the end of that leaf. And this is in great shape too. This looks new. Here's the back of it. It's got a rollover clasp and there is a mark on there. This is Cora. This is a vintage pin. It's amazing how some of the vintage pieces in this box are in such incredible shape. So this is definitely a keeper. I'm going to be listing this. This is gorgeous. I like the simplicity of the design of this necklace. This is on like a satin little tube cord and loving this pendant here. It's a faux pearl and the pearl has some waves to it. Let's get in closer. Here's a look at that pendant. It has like a wave in it. See the texture? And this is set in a brushed gold tone metal. Here's the hook closure and the hook fits anywhere on this extender giving you an adjustable length. I'm going to turn this pendant over now. I forgot to do that earlier. This is a Carolee necklace. This is a very elegant necklace. I love the simplicity of it and I will definitely be listing this one. The next piece I'm bringing out is this leather wrap bracelet. This is a brown leather. It's got kind of a nice thickness to it. It's not too thin. It's made very well. It's got these different places where you can attach it to vary the length like so. There's not a name on this one, but I think someone would love to have a leather wrap bracelet. So I will be listing this one. Here's a pair of earrings. They are carnelian beaded earrings in two different sizes and two different shades of carnelian. The larger bead is a little bit lighter. I can tell you right now that the ear wire that they're on is sterling silver. So these are very cool and I will be listing these in my eBay store. This next piece is a long necklace made with all these concentric circles. Some of them have irregular shapes to them. 
some of the loops have this texture to them it's pretty cool it's a metallic purple as I said it's pretty long let's take you down the necklace and here is the end and the end is still giving us an extender interesting this is a Leah Sophia piece and there's the lobster clasp I'm very impressed I do like this necklace I find it especially unique that it has that purple metallic finish here's another long necklace I like the crystals on this they all have that a B finish and then there's a mix of these crystal balls here these disco balls and there are crystal rondelles let's give a better look at these beads look at that the disco ball there some square crystal round crystal they all have that a B finish there are the rondelles right there how fun are these beads look at this one so here's your view all the way down the necklace or I should say up the necklace this has got a lobster claw finish and a short extender this tag reads rush by Dennis and Charles that's a name I've never come across I will certainly be looking into the Rush brand and see what I've got on my hands here with this necklace. In the meantime, I want to thank you for coming in. Please leave a comment down below if you had a favorite piece. And also, don't forget to let me know if you'd like to see me do jewelry sales here on my YouTube channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.